Hello again, fans, and welcome to PurpleEagles.com. My name is Todd Callen, and I'm very pleased to be joined today by the newest member of the NU coaching family, and that is Jason Lammers, now a part of the NU hockey program, is just named as the head coach here at Niagara University. And well, Coach Lammers, nice to meet you. Thanks so much for visiting with us today. Thank you, Todd. Appreciate it. Now, Coach, let's get started with this program, this community, this campus, this team, what was it about Niagara University that has brought you here as the head coach? Well, I think one of the most important and most exciting parts to us as a family was just what we see as a vision and an opportunity here for Niagara University and specifically for the hockey program. Uh, obviously, there's been past success and we're real excited to help continue the success that's happened, more importantly, build on it and grow it in the future, number one. Number two, the mission statement of the university and, and the athletic department really fits our family values as, as a family and who we are. And the third piece is I feel like I've grown up in this area, uh, being from Pittsburgh originally, went to Geneseo, very comfortable, have a lot of good friends that still live in the area that have reached out and just really excited to be a part of it that way. And the, the final piece for me would be just the family feel that Niagara University is. And, and uh, we have a young family, a, a little boy, little girl and my wife and, and we just couldn't be happier to be a part of it. Now coach you mentioned playing hockey at Geneseo when did you get bit by the coaching bug? Was it during your playing days or, or soon thereafter? Yeah it was. It was my sophomore year in college. I, I can't remember the exact day but I just remember my sophomore year I said you know this is something that I think I would really enjoy and and uh, at the time thought it would be great for family lifestyle and obviously coaching is a lifestyle not a job so but uh, it, my sophomore year at Geneseo that's when I made the decision that I was going to be a coach. Now uh, coach you mentioned in the introductory press conference connecting with the fans is very important. Uh, talk about how you've been successful some ways that you've been able to connect with the fans. Well I think it's real important that we get involved in the community number one and I think when fans see you and they get the chance to speak with you uh, they they, they get involved, they feel like they're a part of it. And, and that's something that we want to do, not only with the players, but with me, uh, with my young children, my wife, we're, we're going to live in the area. Uh, we're going to have our kids involved in athletics. They're going to go to local schools. Uh, that'll be part of it. I think the second piece to that is getting our student athletes involved in the community and making sure that they're serving other people. And, and that's my job and, and I need to be a part of that and, and be the face of it. So those are two of the, the main parts is, is the family and then getting our student athletes out there as well. Being here on campus and, and visiting with some of the players, have you had much time to visit with the team and what are some of your early impressions? Yeah, you know what, unfortunately I haven't had a ton of time to spend with them yet, but I've had the chance to chat with some guys on the phone and uh, I just think there's a lot of winning that's taken place in the room. Uh, the junior teams that they played for and some of their experiences I think we're going to be able to build on and, and uh, I know that a lot of the guys are passionate about each other and, and about the university and with their vision of what they think it can be, so to have it start internal is real important and starts in the dressing room and, and they you can feel the excitement and, and the passion that they have for each other and I think that's only going to help us build this as we continue to go where everybody wants it to be. And coach the team finished strong a very big win in the playoffs at RIT a season ago. How impressed were you with the early struggles how well your team finished the season? Yeah well it's it's really impressive just the fact that that they came together at a, the crucial time in the year, obviously playoffs, uh, you still want to grow and keep getting better, but it's about results at that point too, and uh, the process is important, but, but playoffs, you either win or you lose, and, and uh, the guys did a great job and impressive against a team like RIT, and impressive with the situation and the circumstances. Now talk about what challenges you see as you look forward to next season. Well, I think uh, a few of the challenges are, are going to be, uh, first and foremost, is just changing the mentality and helping the guys believe in themselves. and. and and when you believe in something and you're passionate about it, great things can happen. And so for me, number one priority is just making sure that they believe and, and most importantly, believe in each other, which I've started to get that sense that they do, but that's our job to build it and pump it and grow it. Now, Coach, recruiting, of course, the, the lifeline for any successful collegiate program. A lot of talent in West New York. Talk about how important it is to have successful recruiting in your backyard and bring them here to Mount Eagle Ridge. Yeah, well, that's that's something that is is crucial. We, we want to have the best players in Western New York be here uh, at Niagara University. I think it's a destination university. Just you look around the beauty of it and, and the education and, and, like we said, the people that are here make it a destination. Uh, Southern Ontario produces a lot of great hockey players, obviously, right across the river. So something that, that we're looking forward to, to continue, continuing with 
At the same time, I want to expand the footprint a little bit and, and go to some other places. Another thing you mentioned at your press conference was talking about being more than just the coach for your players, but really being someone that can influence their day-to-day -day lives. Talk a little bit more about that and how important that is. Well, that, that's really important to me. I, I'm a big believer that they don't care what you know until they know how much you care. And so it's important for me to build relationships with them. And obviously as a head coach, that's, that's a challenge. And, and uh, it's something that I think is a key integral part because I love hockey, but I really believe that hockey is the vehicle to make men. And that's what we're here to do, to be part of the university mission statement that have them achieve on the ice but more importantly have them achieve off the ice and and grow into men and fathers and husbands uh, for the future. Purple Eagles part of the Atlantic Hockey Conference talk a little bit about Atlantic Hockey and, and where you think they fit on the college hockey landscape. Well the expectation is obvious when you get on campus and and through my conversations with the administration here that the expectation is to be at the top of Atlantic Hockey and that's certainly something that I'm excited about and, and uh, appreciate the support of the administration in and that's that's really our intent to, to get to the top half to get to the top quarter and then see what happens when it when it comes playoff time. One thing here for you coach maybe it's rooted in, in how you played the game but what are some characteristics or, or hallmarks of a Jason Lammers coach team? Yeah well it's actually the opposite of the way I played because I was a uh, underskilled hard-working defenseman and I love to have teams that are fast, uh, that are first to pucks, and, and that are relentless. And, and that's something that we're really looking forward to. I've been blessed to have a lot of great athletes that, to coach and, and some great mentors to work for that have helped integrate an offensive scheme uh, last year in Dubuque, first in the league in goals, this year second to league in goals. So we, we want to score goals. The players enjoy scoring goals. The fans enjoy scoring goals. People come watch you if you score goals. So that's a big part of what we want to do. I imagine on the recruiting trail that also can help you if you are one of the top Top scoring teams in the country? Absolutely. Every, every player's here, and we talked about it with the guys when I had the chance to sit with them. They, they want to play after Niagara University. Obviously, they, they want to be here and, and do a great job, and uh, they're committed to that. But at the same time, they want to keep growing in their game and, and take hockey as far as they can. And that's something as a staff that, that we're committed to and that we want to do, and we want to help them uh, be better than they think they can even be on the ice, but also off the ice, but help them uh, play pro hockey. And, and that's a goal of ours, absolutely. All right, Coach, I'll tell you what, we certainly appreciate the time. Very nice meeting you, and best of luck in the coming season. My pleasure, Todd. Thank you. Fans, this is Todd Callen along with NU Hockey Coach Jason Lammers. We appreciate you stopping by PurpleEagles.com, and we invite you to stay tuned into the website for all the athletics information here at Niagara University. Have a great day, everyone.